If, like me, you are feeling a prescient need to go off-grid while you still can in these increasingly tumultuous times that we live in, then among the many things that you need to worry about, water, food, security, power is a pretty big thing that you'll need to consider. Now, Max Oak, or Power Oak as they're known in the UK, Max Oak in the US, thinks that they have you covered with this affordable and frankly, enormous capacity uh, EB240. It's a power bank, solar generator and AC transformer at an affordable price. And it contains an absolutely massive 2,400 watt hours of energy, which is, as far as I'm aware, the biggest battery pack that you can buy on the market today. So let's take a closer look and see if this is suitable for your needs. All right, so before we really get started, let me throw some numbers at you first for those of you who like that kind of thing. So the EB240 weighs a whopping 48.5 pounds or 22 kilograms and measures 19.5 inches deep, 14.5 inches tall and 6.5 inches wide or 50 by 37 by 17 centimeters. And that's including the handle. So it's a fair size, uh, much like a desktop PC. It's the same basic two-tone white ABS plastic and powder-coated blue steel design of the EB150 unit that we reviewed a few months back. It's almost identical, in fact. The only real difference is that it's a lot deeper than the EB150 because it contains uh, almost twice as much power. However, it's now available in Europe and in the UK too, uh, so that's why I have one to test. Previously, it was only available in the US. So as I said, the total power output is a 1000 watt continuous, 1200 watt peak featuring two pure sine wave AC outlets, one 12 volt car port, four USB ports at three amps maximum, and 45 watt USB-C power delivery port. The total storage capacity is 2,400 watt hours. If you'd rather that number in milliamp hours to compare to other like USB charges you might have to your phone, uh, that works out to around 480,000 milliamp hours, which is enough to charge an iPhone 10 uh, around 250 times. So to briefly explain some of those numbers, because electrics isn't easy. Everything that you plug in to this device is going to have a rating, uh, a voltage and a current in amps. And it's the product of those two numbers that gives you the total wattage that it's going to draw at any one time. The maximum being a thousand and that's for everything that you have plugged in. Now, whether it's AC or DC, it really doesn't matter. So a typical 50 inch uh, LED TV might be around 60 watts. Uh, a corded drill might be say 600 watts. And the total capacity of this is measured in watt hours. So 2,400 watt hours. And a watt hour is the amount of power uh, consumed by a device that is one watt uh, for one hour. So to work out precisely how long the EB240 will last you, all you need to do is sum up the wattage of what you're going to plug into it and then divide 2,400 by that number. So 100 watts of, of say, a LED TV and a laptop, uh, if it came to 100 watts, that would last you 24 hours, assuming you had no other external input uh, into this. It is, of course, also a solar charger, so you can plug a solar panel straight into that and then that'll keep your devices going longer. It'll keep the battery topped up. So while the display on the front shows exact uh, wattage power, both for input and output of DC and AC separately, uh, with exact numbers, it only shows the remaining capacity of the battery in the form of a five segment display. And while I would prefer a more exact percentage, uh, that's not a huge issue. It is, however, quite difficult to view in bright sunlight, but in most cases, I had no issues reading it. For testing continuous output, I hooked this up to our main fridge freezer, which seemed initially to have a continuous draw of around 42 watts, but did spike up sometimes to 180 or even higher, sort of 300. Anyway, I plugged this in just before 12 noon one day and throughout the daily usage, most of the power was drawn, obviously, when you open the door and it has to uh, it has a power spike to cool it down again. There were two power sections left at the end of the day, and in the morning it was basically running on fumes, down to the last section, essentially empty, so 
I'd say about 18 hours it lasted. So after charging it up fully on solar again, I then hooked it up to our deep freezer. And this is really the most uh, critical bit of equipment that we would have running in the event of a power outage. It contains about a year's supply of pork that we reared last year and then slaughtered. So keeping that running is absolutely top of our list. Now a deep freezer is pretty power efficient anyway. Most of the time it's not going to draw that much. In fact, it registered zero on this. It wasn't high enough. However, after opening the deep freezer and allowing the warm air back in, it then spiked up to around 90 to 100 watts. So after a day of leaving the deep freezer plugged into this, it was down uh, 40% or around two segments. And at that point I left it and to be honest, I forgot about it. Five days later, I checked it and the battery was empty. However, the freezer seemed to still be completely frozen. So I assume it had only run out in the last day or so. So depending on your freezer, the power efficiency and your ambient temperature, I would expect you to get anyway from three days to a week of usage out of this for a deep freezer. And that means also that if you have even a modest sized solar panel connected to it and you were use using your deep freezer uh, infrequently, then you should in theory be able to get it to run off of this uh, indefinitely. Finally, I tested the maximum power output continuous with an electric induction hob uh, to fry a nice home laid egg. Now I tried uh, the third highest program first, that was around 850 watts, so then I pushed it to the fourth program and that was just over a thousand watts, so it may have cut off after two minutes, but you know what, that was more than enough to fry this delicious egg. So you can charge up the EB240 using, uh, of course, the included AC adapter, although that'll still take around 15 hours for a full charge. But it's much better to use solar if you can, such as a uh, regular old sort of solar used solar panel like this from the roof of a house. Uh, this one's around 120 watts, but it'll take up to 500 watts. Uh, in total. Helpfully, it also includes the cables that you need to plug it straight in, which is a DC, DC 9mm adapter on this end uh, and the MC4 connectors on this. And these will just go straight into the tails off of your solar panel. Then you can plug this directly and no other adapters needed. It'll accept 16 to 60 volts at 10 amps. But if you don't want to worry about the type of uh, panel that you can plug in, you're not entirely sure about the voltages, then don't worry, uh, Max Oak do also sell their own uh, custom branded solar panel, which you know is going to work. We're gonna review that next month, so do stay tuned if you'd like to know more about that option. In terms of how long it would take to charge off of solar, of course, this is gonna depend entirely on your location, how the sun is in your area we've been pretty much blessed today this is one of the few days of sunshine we get each year in the UK but let's say you had three panels like this which do about 120 watts uh, at peak um, then you would get about 360 watts total in uh, and that would take you around six and a half hours of peak sunshine so that should be doable uh, in a day since this is a massive lithium ion battery, uh, shipping is restricted, which is why it hasn't been available in the UK until now. This came from the hub in Germany, but even then it had to go via ground shipping only. Uh, and it had a bit of an issue at customs. It was delayed some more just because uh, when it's coming into the country, they tend to panic when they see big batteries. But it did arrive fine. There were no extra fees or anything. Um, it was just a little bit delayed. So given the ability to hook this up to 500 watts of solar input, is the EB240 from Max Oak, uh, can it truly be a complete off-grid power solution for your family? Well, only if your power needs are relatively small. As I showed you, a reasonable sized American fridge freezer uh, lasted us uh, just less than a day on this. Uh, while a deep freezer, um, could last a lot longer and both of those of course you could increase the amount of time that it'll last when combined with a solar panel so in terms of expansion uh, you can't you can't daisy chain additional units together there are no upgradable uh, extra capacity units that you can add in some of the competitors do have that feature however you're going to be paying a very hefty premium uh, in order to be doing that. So this isn't exactly a replacement for a Tesla Powerwall, even if you bought multiple of them. 
You could, however, run individual appliances off of this, as well as lower powered devices such as mobile phones, tablets, for remote cabins, sheds, uh, caravans, that sort of thing, the EB240 uh, is a fantastic solution that will probably power everything you can throw at it. Stick a solar panel on the roof as well and you have completely free off-grid power for the next decade or two at least, uh, which is probably all we have left anyway before we all get cooked. The only other limitation of the Max Oak EB240 is the peak power output which at a thousand watt continuous may not be quite enough for what you need. Even if you only need that amount of power, say 2000 watts for 10 minutes or so, theoretically this would last you uh, an hour or more at 2000 watts, but you just can't draw that much power uh, continuously. At the maximum power of a thousand watts, it's still gonna last you over two hours but the option to use more power isn't there if you need it. If you do need to draw a lot more than 1000 watts, then it might be worth having a look at their newer AC200 model, which by the time you're watching this should have launched on Indiegogo already. Now that has a slightly smaller capacity at 1700 watt hours, but its peak power is 2000 watts. So although you'll eat through that 1,700 watts quite quickly, it does have the ability to pump it out a lot faster if you need it. Now that is a crowdfunding campaign, so of course there may be a delay in actually getting your product. If you don't need it urgently, it's worth considering though. Um, from a company like Max Oak, who have already produced the AC100, it's just a bigger version of that basically. So there should be no other risks involved of not getting a product delivered. And of course, there's the sheer weight to consider. At 22 kilograms or just under 50 pounds, this thing is not at all lightweight. And it's, I would barely call it portable. Unless you have some sort of transport, you're not gonna wanna be lugging this on holiday up to a campsite. It was hard enough bringing it back up my hill. So yes, if you need a massive metric ton of power to keep your devices going off grid, and you have a solar panel or are looking to get one with which to keep this topped up and potentially keep your devices going uh, forever indefinitely, uh, then this is a great value way to do it. In terms of price per watt hour though, the Max Oak EB240 truly can't be beaten. Using the code BLUETTI15, which gives $152 off, you can grab this for $17.50 on Amazon, which is a lot of money, but works out around 72 cents per watt hour of storage, which is a huge saving over competitors uh, like the Gold Zero models, which tend to run around a dollar and a half per watt hour. We also have some coupon codes down in the comments for German and UK viewers to get 200 euros or 160 pounds off respectively. So do check down there if you're interested. Anyway, I hope this has helped you to make up your mind about the Max Oak EB240 and whether it's suitable for your needs. If it has, please hit the thumbs up button. We'd really appreciate that. And do consider subscribing for more weekly tech reviews, gadget giveaways, and tutorials from all of us at makeusoft.com. Thank you for watching and thank you to Max Oak for giving us another one of these EB240 massive 2,400 watt hour batteries to give away to one lucky viewer. To be in with a chance of winning, just head on over to the link in the description to our full review and you'll find the giveaway widget at the end of that. Pop your details in there and you'll be in with a chance of winning. When it asks you for the bonus code, type in power to the people to get some bonus entries. Now this competition is only open to UK, Germany and the US residents. I'm afraid, as I said, shipping on this is very, very difficult. So we do have to restrict it. But if you are from one of those regions, then please head on over and enter the competition to be in with a chance of winning. Do add competitions at makeuseof.com to your address book so you won't miss the email from us telling you that you have won. If you don't do that, it may end up in your spam box. Good luck and I'll see you next time.